Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to download and install QT installer for personal development. Actually QT is a licensing application and need to purchase. For personal use we have to download open source application. Search open your favorite browser and search QT creator download or search QT creator open source download. You will find the first link open source development. Click on this link. It will take to you uh, the download option. You will find the QT for open source development. On this page, scroll below and you will find the download button for QT online installer. Click on this. Choose appropriate uh, operating system and click, click on download button. It will download the QT installer setup. Before for proceeding further, make sure you have QT. Uh, login account. If you do not have any account, please create one before proceeding. To create your QT account, click on this uh, QT account link. It will take to you the login page. If you have, do not have any login credential, create on this create QT account link. Enter your email ID, password and verify password and create your QT account. As our uh, setup is downloaded, launch this setup here. As we have created our QT account, login with this credential and click next. It will fetch all the licenses and repository for QT. On this open source usage obligation, click on the checkboxes and click next. On welcome page, click next. It will fetch all the repositories. As it is open source, so uh, we have to contribute for QT development. In this, on this page, I will click disable sending option and click next. There are multiple uh, options for installation. First, please specify the QT installer uh, directory. You can choose anyone. I keep it as default. You can select custom installation as well, or you can select multiple options. As I am using QT for desktop app development, I am selecting this desktop development option. Also, select this design studio and click next. On this license agreement page, accept all the terms and conditions and click next keep default QT and click next on this ready to install it shows how many size or or disk space required for the QT installer and click on install button uh, as you can see that the total size is 1.47 GB so it will take some time Wait for uh, installation to finish. Uh, during installation, I am getting uh, this error saying that cannot download uh, the archives. It also shows that there is some mirror error. As you can see that error transferring HTTPS mirrors cloud. If we click on this retry or check the error is gone or not. The, the error still persist. So in this case, we will try another way. After trying this setup installation multiple times, I am getting same error. So we will try another way. Click on this cancel button. Close this setup installation. Open your command form and search. go to your download location. and run your downloaded setup exe and check for help it will show multiple options for QT setup then scroll some scroll above and you can find this mirror option during this uh, during this 
second option we will use this mirror option run this command and press enter it will launch the same qt installer setup with using your login credential log into the qt and click next it will check for licensing and fetching repository on this open source usage obligation click this checkbox and click next on welcome button click next it will fetch the components choose either of this option and click next select your installation customization option and click next on this all license agreement page click this checkbox and click next if as default and click next are ready to install and install this setup it will start the installation it will show which component is being downloaded wait for some time for download to finish using this second option uh, it seems that uh, the installation is in uh, progress please note down this uh, command for future use this command basically is the name of uh, setup exe space hyphen hyphen mirror space and this http mirror.constant.com where all these repositories are stored as you can see that our installation is in progress so we will wait to finish as we can see that our installation is finished on the final page or log, uh, final window we will find this three check box open qt design studio readme file launch qt creator launch qt design studio we will check all these boxes and check what is going to open and click on this finish button as it will launch the qt readme file close this and you will find that do you want allow public and private network access click allow and it will download this qt design studio 4.7 actually currently we do not have any idea about this so we will close this uh, be aware let you click on this turn on uh, click on letter and close this studio uh, this is the starting page for qt creator using these two ways we can download and install qt for uh, personal development as a open source development i uh, hope this video will help you to download and install qt creator on windows windows machine if you have any queries or questions please ask me in the comment section i will try to resolve this query if you like this video please share and subscribe to my youtube channel and press like button thank you for watching